guys, Matt here, and today I am checking out one of the most popular discs from Lone Star Disc, the Armadillo. Check out that stamp. You got an armadillo there, he's snarling, there's a state of Texas with some stars, it's all very, you know, Texas themed, very interesting, and has that very cool armadillo stamp. And this is actually one of the best selling putters on Infinite Disc right now. It was number three last month. Mine is in this like pink burst alpha plastic so it's slightly stiffer you get a look at that profile you see it's really blunt no bevel on the edge it's about the same uh, width all the way down and if you look at the top it's got a little bit of it's not even a thumb track it's a drop down which is very cool and i really like the feel overall it's not terribly deep and it's drawn a lot of comparisons due to its flight numbers of 1201 to the Castaplast Berg and the Innova Polecat. And I actually think it flies a little closer to a Berg than the Polecat, but if you look at the profile, it's very similar. It's not as deep as the Polecat, and it's more rounded on top. The disc it actually reminds me the most of is the Reptilian Disc Golf Serpent, which is a more traditional putter feeling disc, but it also has a thumb groove on top. And they share the characteristic in that they are extremely straight and don't really fade. I took it out to Etowah today and tried it on a variety of holes. There's several holes of varying elevations and shot shapes in that 200 to 250 feet range that a lot of people like to use these off the tee. So I wanted to see how it did. You guys check it out and let me know what you think. It's so right on the course at a Y here. You have hole two. It's about 220. Going straight ahead through that tree gap. And I get it a little bit nose up so it clips that branch, but it still gives me a look. Holds the line nice. Let's skip it over to hole nine. We're throwing across this valley on a mild hyzer. And it just flips up there, rides straight the whole way, and settles into the hillside on the edge of circle one. Now on to hole 11. This one's steep downhill, about 195, but way down there. I put it on some hyzer through that right gap, hoping to fade back, and it doesn't really end up in circle two. 13, we're throwing across this creek onto the hillside over there. I'm going forehand the hyzer flip, and it flips nice and just keeps on riding straight, but never really fades out, so it's on the edge of circle one. Final hole is hole 20. Going for a nice little hyzer ace run. This is the island green, so you're trying to get it inside those buoys. It just misses the basket high and plops down for an easy putt. So as you can see, the armadillo does great in throwing those really straight lines where it's gonna run out of steam and then just kind of plop down on a tiny hyzer. It doesn't turn really. It doesn't fade much either. If you saw an 11, it was on a hyzer going through that gap, flipped up and just kept riding. Ended up in like the back of circle two, I had a look, but still it's not where I anticipated it to land based on the angle I gave it. And then on 13, when I threw it, I gave it a good hyzer forehand. It flips up, goes perfectly straight, and once again, puts me where I have a putt, but it didn't fade like I thought it might at that distance. So for me, the numbers are pretty close to accurate. I think the two is a little bit soft. It's near a three in glide, but not quite. So I see why they kind of rounded down, but it glides more than I kind of thought it would. And for a lid type feeling disc, it doesn't flip like a lot of those do due to the drag created by the thumb drop here, which is really nice. You don't want a disc that's gonna be too finicky in your approach slot. So if you want something that's like a Berg, that really straight, not too glidey approach disc, but you don't want something as finicky as like a Birdie or a Polecat or a Rattler, get an Armadillo. They're pretty cool and I, I chose Etowah because there actually are a lot of armadillos out there and I didn't end up seeing any while I was filming unfortunately, but I was kind of hoping to get a shot of an armadillo with the armadillo. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and hopefully see you again soon.